Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Box of Ants, Box of Demons, whatever you want to call me. And today it's day four in our aquarium Roma 240 journey. And behind me you can see where we're at. Well, with this being day four, we're going to be using an API master test kit in order to be able to check the ammonia, nitrites and the nitrates and the pH balance of this water. Because I'd like to get some shrimp or something in there at some point. So you're more than welcome to join me. So the first thing we're going to want to do is within the API test kit we should have in here four vials that we're going to fill with the tank water. So we open these up as you can see in here, here is the kit. Here's all the different chemicals that we're going to be testing here today. But within there we have four of these glass tubes and we're going to be filling the water up to this line here on the floor and then we're going to be testing so it's literally just a matter of getting this in there now. Now, a tip is I've seen what other people are doing. They actually use a syringe. It's just easier to get the water out without having to get your hands wet and mucky as usual. But uh, I shall fill these four up and then we shall get scientific. So here we have all our chemicals, we have our test tubes full of water and we have this handy little book here that's going to help us and guide us through. So the first one we're actually going to check is the pH which will be this one, this bottle here and it says in the instructions Fill a clean test tube with five millimeters of water to be tested and add three drops holding the dropper in a vertical position completely and then we have to invert the tube a few times and then leave it. So we'll give this a quick shake and then we will put three drops into the first test tube and this will check the pH balance. Now it does say here in the instructions that a recommended pH is ideal when keeping community aquariums and live bearers such as goldfish prefer 7.5 so we're looking for around a 7 because this will be a community tank and just remind myself how many drops it was three drops so we're going to add three drops of this directly into here i hope this is not too close for you to see your focus and we'll drop three in there one two three there we go so that will be our ph and now basically what we need to do is so we don't get muddled up with these we shall move them at the back with the with the chemicals and then we're going to move this a few times back and forth as you can see it's gone a very wee colour shall we say but we're going to leave this while we do the rest of them and then we shall check it against the chart so if we move that further back we know that whoops, that is our pH so the next one we're going to check let's move these out of the way is going to be ammonia which at our stage in the tank cycling is really really important this is the toxic fish killer although we've got no livestock whatsoever so we have to put eight drops of number one in eight drops of number two and then we have to wait for five minutes let's just get these out of the way for the color to develop so we'll get that there so it's eight drops of bottle one they are labeled quite clearly here bottle one and two so let's get to ourselves eight drops one two three four five six seven eight that's eight from bottle one and we shall put you at the back so we know and then we need to add eight from bottle two one two three four five six seven eight and i've got to give this a good shaking and this will be the ammonia so let's get the top on it's hardly got any color whatsoever at the minute and we've got to give this a really good shake apparently and hopefully over the next five minutes as you can see it's pretty much the same color as the actual ph at this stage but i've got a funny feeling that this will change there we go so that is the ammonia test so over five minutes it's already starting to change slightly i think and we'll get you over there so the ph and the ammonia actually look quite similar 
Next up, we're going to be testing our nitrate levels. I'm going to put 10 drops of this in, shake this for 30 seconds, and then put the next 10 in. And as you can see in the background there, the ammonia has gone rather green. And I think from already I'm able to identify that my tank at this stage is probably pro absolutely toxic. It's going to be of no good us putting any live fish in whatsoever. It would be cruel. So we've got to put, give this a quick shake, got to put 10 drops of this in. 10 drops, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we have to give this a good shake for 30 seconds before we put in the next agent. And let's get you at the back. Get you up there, get the top on, that stinks. Get that top on and give this a good shake for 30 seconds. And we now have to put the second agent, which is 10 drops in here. And then we have to shake this vigorously for a minute. And then we have to wait five minutes to get the actual test results. So here we go, 10 drops in here. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. And it is very important, it does say in the instructions that you put exactly the right amount of these drops in in order for you to be able to get quite an accurate test. So now I've got to shake this for another minute, vigorously it says, and we shall come back with the next stage. So there we go, we have shook this now for another minute and we have to wait five minutes in order to get the results for our nitrate. As you can see some interesting colours there. And the last one we're going to be checking is the nitrite. Now, I'm not sure why there is a high pH balance one here as well. There's only four vials. I uh, presume if this indeed needed to be checked as well, it would give us a fifth one. But if you know why there is this one and why I need to check this one as well, then please do let me know because we're only cycling on day four. So the last one is the nitrite. Yeah, with the nitrite and for this one, it says we have to add five drops and then we have to wait five minutes as you can see this is the nitrate that's what my piss looks like when i've been out on the booze on the sauce anyway so let's check our nitrate because obviously all these levels are going to change one is going to rise before the other one while we're actually cycling and we have to put in five drops one two three four five and there we go and you can probably get around two to three hundred samples out of these. They are about 30 pounds. They can be quite expensive, but I suppose in the long run, the health of your fish and your tank is really quite important. So we'll give this a little shake in this vial. We shall wait five minutes. We shall come back and we'll have a look at the results. So as you can see here on this piece of paper, we have the date and we also have listed each one that we're going to be writing down and keeping the log of. And it's really important that you do this. So the first one we're going to check is the pH. I'll try and do this. Over here, we have our pH, which is this glorious yellow color. And if we look at the pH on the list, which is on the left here, I would say our pH is pretty much 6.0. I would say that was pretty, pretty much bang on. So our pH will be six. So I'll we'll write that down in fact. And if we look in the book here, it actually tells us about the pH. And it says that pH of seven is ideal when keeping a community aquarium. So we're at six. So I'm not actually sure what I can do to increase that pH. But we're going to be writing down that pH is 6.0. So that's the first one. So the next one we're going to be doing is the ammonia. Now ammonia, I already know from looking at this, this is extremely toxic to live animals. And I would probably go straight in and say that is, well, it's eight. Definitely it looks like eight to me, which, which is extremely high, but we would be expecting that with a new tank. So our ammonia is eight. That is high. The ammonia will spike up and start to come down as the nitrites start to convert it, if I've got, it, if I've got that right. So our ammonia is on 8.0 and we really need that to be much, much lower. In fact, it will probably tell us in the book, if we look here, 
the ammonia let's just have a quick look the ammonia there we go um, and a new aquarium or pond the ammonia level may rise and then fall rapidly uh, it will uh, be converted to nitrite and then da -da 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 does it tell us what safe level is you've been four four parts per million is uh, recommended to be around this safe level uh, we're definitely at eight we're definitely way down here so but that's that's to be expected to be honest with you so the next one we're going to check is we need to make sure we get these right is the nitrate not the nitrite so our nitrate here this is what i give to the doctor when i've been out on the source <laughs> so our nitrate on here actually is very low I think that's going to be well it's going to be zero i would have said um possibly slightly between the two but i think that is I think that's a zero on our nitrates. So I'm not sure what that means, whether our cycle hasn't even begun. But our nitrates equals zero parts per million. And the last one that we're going to be looking at is our nitrite. And this is a beautiful pink colour here. And our nitrite here on this kit, I would say we were probably at two maybe three it's hard to tell between the five and the two there not the easiest thing to be able to distinguish but obviously as it gets lower it becomes a lilac -y color but i think that is could be between it's difficult isn't it difficult to tell is that a five is that is that a one? Oh, it's not easy to tell i'm going to go ahead and say it's around one point uh, I think we'll go for one. I think our nitrate is around one. So we'll get that at one. And of course, we also have the high pH range, which I will flush one of these out and test them now. Why we need to do this one, I'm not quite sure, but hey ho, it's in the box. So I'll flush these out now and we'll come back and we'll test this one as well. So our last one here is the high range pH and we've just got to put five drops of this in and we should be getting a reading almost straight away. Let's get this in and let's get our five drops in there. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll give that a little shake. It's got a beautiful yellow color. Give that quick shake and this is our high high range pH solution and if we look on our list over here for the high range you can see with this being yellow in fact I don't even think it would be on there uh, it's closer to 7.4 than anything else but it's definitely more on this side so whether this is even relevant at this stage I'm not sure but that was the last test here for my tank and from there I probably need a little bit of advice from you guys. So now that you've seen the information in that API test kit, I really do want to ask all you more experienced fish keepers out there what I should be doing. Should I be changing some of the water in this tank right now? I'm going to be doing another test. I think you've got to leave it for another four days, so I'll take us to four, five, six, seven, seven, maybe eight days, um, and I will be testing again, and we'll be able to compare. I am expecting the ammonia to spike up and then we know that we're on kind of like the first stage of the tank cycling. I have also got some white moss gooey stuff all over this piece of wood here. And from doing a bit of research online, it's perfectly normal. I've got absolutely nothing to worry about. I can scrape some of it all off, but I'm told it will disappear in about a week. So there we go. Thanks for watching, subscribing, liking and sharing this video and joining my adventure here with the Fluval Roma 240 and the adventures of a new fish keeper. I'm really, really enjoying it. Thanks for watching. I shall see you on day seven.